Hi everybody. As you can see, I am no longer in my RV. It is Tuesday and I post on Tuesday and I'm just recording this on Tuesday because life. Moving out of an RV into a house and we picked up two of Richard's kids. So that has been absolutely crazy and everything. Uh, yeah, today I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to give you a pup date. I'm going to let you know how Shrukin is doing on his food and what we have changed of the plan and we will go from there. So I'll see you in a minute. With every star, we are born again. Open your heart. Welcome back. I have decided I'm going to show you guys how I make his food. Uh, right now, we were going to keep it at just chicken and I went to go buy more chicken from the grocery store and they had no chicken. Well, that's not entirely true. They did have chicken, but it was rotisserie chicken or chicken that had way too much sodium and making sure that your dogs don't get food that has too much sodium is really important. So uh, you always wanna look for something that for every four ounces has 100 milligrams of sodium or less and that's it. And um, Bella, what's she doing, baby? She's gonna fall off the couch, I swear, this child. You were playing? Oh, okay. Anyway, so they didn't have that. All of the chicken that they had had broth and sodium added and it was horrible. So that was not an option. We had to change his food very quickly, way sooner than I wanted to. And he did absolutely wonderful on it, so we figured, Let's just go all in. Let's just add everything that we're gonna add and see how he does. And he has been a champ. I will show you exactly what I make for him and how I do it. Uh, because he is a puppy, he needs a little bit more attention and more balancing in his meals every day because he's not maintaining muscle and bone. He is growing muscle and bone. So since they are growing new bone and growing new muscle, it's important to make sure that they get enough protein, that they get enough fat, that they get a balanced diet of things, helping their digestive system switch over from kibble or whatever they were on before to learning how to digest. This stuff can take a little bit of time figuring out the bone ratio and how are they, all of that. It's actually not as hard as it sounds, but making sure that it's balanced and his little body will let you know if it's not balanced. Anyways, I will go ahead and show you really quickly how I do his bowl. And then the rest of this video is going to be nothing but videos of him playing because that's the cuteness that wasn't in the first one. Because when I tried, he literally did this. wasn't giving me much to work with. The rest of it will be fun times with him. Anyhow, let me go get set up to show you how he eats. Alrighty, everything is all set up. Right now, this is what he is getting. Uh, meat of some kind, chicken, beef, venison, anything like that has been working out. Um, a chicken foot, three times a day. This seems to be his favorite kind of bones. They're little, he crunches the whole thing up until it's rubber and then he swallows it whole. Goat's milk, a couple of blueberries once a day, um, an egg, pumpkin to help with the fiber uh, until his body gets used to digesting the meat. He needs something to coat the bones to help him poop it out. At least that's what we found with him. And so some veg from that is okay. <laughs> and coconut oil for the extra fat. Uh, this has some fat in it, but not quite enough, so we add that in there. I'm going to assemble it so we all get to see the nasty, gooey mess that it looks like. And that's it. The disgusting goodness. We make that three times a day and he gets to decide how much he's gonna eat. He eats until he is full, he walks away, I pick up the bowl, 
and serve the rest of it later. So far, it's been working out great. He's growing big and healthy and strong. He's got normal poops and no problems. So that is, wait, blue blockers off. Um, that is how we do his food. So far, it's working out great for us. We don't free feed, but we let him eat as much as he wants. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. If I have some veg or something I want to give him, I'll hand it down to him, like a piece of broccoli or something. He's attacking something still. Well, he's having fun. Anyhow, um, I will let y'all watch the clips that I recorded of him in the RV uh, when he started actually being active and playing around and goofing off. So I will let you enjoy the cuteness and please do all of the important things here. And uh, we will see you on the way. Bye guys. That's not how that one works. See, I'm supposed to throw that for you and then you're supposed to bring it back. <laughs> so who won that one? Wait, wait, what? Cracked me up, dude. He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Big puppy German Shepherd versus the little. And he keeps letting Blue get the upper hand. It's hilarious. Ginjiggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what they needed. A buddy. <laughs> a buddy? A doggy play A date. doggy buddy. All the way? What are you guys doing? Fish faces? <laughs> hey Noah, guess what? It's recording. <laughs> See, this is this is what we do. When okay. So if I back it up over here. He's attacking see something. The nasty gooey mess that it looks like. Sorry. I know. Um, you're really like all kinds of. It's right. You you're really freaked out by the recording, aren't you? <laughs> this is how you get bloopers. You have to just keep it recording. <laughs>